All right, guys, welcome back. I'm going to be working on this motor a little while today. I don't know how much I'm going to get done, but uh, we're going to go ahead and stick our lifters in. And I decided to go with the, uh, the uh, comp cams uh, push rods instead of the ones I had come out here. And it just basically, uh, it was... My decision on that was based on price. Uh, it was cheaper to buy the whole kit than it was to buy an individual push rod from say Melling or somewhere like that. And uh, I'll show you the difference in these push rods in a minute. But first, let me get my lifters and get them, get some oil on them and we'll get them set in. So what I'm gonna do is I just got me some oil in a little container here and uh, I'm going to dip my lifters into that oil and stick them in the board and these are Johnson these are high lift Johnson lifters made by top line automotive this is Muskogan USA these lifters and it's all to kind of help get some oil in them and make sure they got plenty of oil going down in these bores here. This is just the way I want to do it. how much oil I used so pretty much all that was in there on the original was like this this is called a one-piece push rod both ends there's no really no ball compared to that one and uh, this is the new style it's a, it's a two-piece push rod well it's really a three-piece because these are separate pieces of these balls on the end and they're supposed to wire better now, this is one that come out of that engine and uh, this one's got something inside the push rod you hear it so I'll decide to go with these uh, new style now, I think most of the probably the newer vehicles come with this style anyway so we'll just drop these in the holes and I'm putting a little bit of oil on the tip that I'm dropping in. these rock arms I'm gonna just take and put a little a little dab of uh, 
with break-in lube on, on the ends of them. And uh, I hope that'd be all right. We'll stick it on. And then on the pivots, you want to put some more oil on there. Uh, I, I wish I had my little squirter, my little oil squirter. It'd be, it'd be a lot easier to, to do. And I'm going to just continue doing these all the way down. All right, guys, got you zoomed in on cylinder number one. I've got all the nuts started. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and adjust this number one and number six. So what I want to do is, as I'm filling the push rod, see how much I've got in there. So I'm going to tighten this thing up until I get rid of all that slack. Sorry about all the road noise, guys. It's a pretty busy little road out here. To be a country road. push rod is all the way in the center of that lifter. Now I've took out all the slack. Now I got a little bit. Still got a little bit. Now, that's it. Now we'll go over here to number six. And do the same thing with it. I like doing it now where I can get my hand in here and move this stuff because once you're up here, you can do it, but it's easier to make sure you're centered and you lift her if you do it before you put your intake on. looking in here 
it looks like I can go ahead and adjust this one because this one's up this one should be down this one's up so this one should be down I don't know about these yet this one's up a little bit and this one's down so this is probably going to go ahead and adjust this one but uh anyway in my other video on adjusting valves there is a way you can turn it and there's certain ones you just as you know in different positions alright so far I was interrupted what I was talking about was there is a certain ones you can adjust and turn it one you know 90 and then 180 then 270 and adjust them I don't have that list with me so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look at these lifters and I can tell by these right here if they're seated this one's all the way down this one's all the way down these two look all the way down but I can't really believe they are these look all the way down so I'm going to just turn it as I see one come up I'll knock and adjust the other one so uh, right now I'm going to go ahead and adjust this one and this one don't look all the way down but this one appears to be up so but I can, I can go ahead and adjust this one on here and I really should make a list of which ones I've done but what I think I'll do is I'll just leave them loose until as I'm, as I'm adjusting I'll know which ones I've got done and which ones I haven't if, they're, if the nuts are loose on them four right here look like they're down and they could be down uh, but I don't know about them so I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn this crank over 90 degrees right, so 90 degrees is going to be about right here and I can see this one's come up those damn sockets right here. This one's come up, so this one should be down. This one's up. I believe this one's coming up. Alright, this one's up, so I can adjust this one. adjust this one but I'm gonna turn it just a little bit more and make sure it's coming up so basically what I'm looking for is these lifters coming up if they're coming up I know the other one's down so I can adjust the one that's down so we'll turn it again see this one's coming up so I can adjust this one. 
that one good and tighten it. That one's done. I still can't tell what this one's doing. Just this one now. Right, now I can adjust this one because this one's coming up. So all I like now is this one and this one, and they're, this one's up, so I know it ain't ready. This one, I got to wait till this one starts coming up, and it is now. Now I can adjust this one. Okay. And I believe I see this one coming up. Just this one. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. I guess the next time we'll be installing a harmonic balancer, uh, installing the water pump and the fuel pump. But I got to do a little bit more painting on this front right here. And uh, on the sides, I'm going to paint the heads, but I'll probably wait till I get, well, I'll put my valve covers on now. And I'll temporarily, I'll stick them on. And then I've got to put a heat of coil in my intake before I put it on, so that'll be later. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching.